Let's take a real quick look at the farmer. Uh, why would I want to be a farmer, you ask? Um, it seems kind of lame. Yeah, it, it was lame. That's kind of the point, you know? Uh, l almost everybody in medieval times was a farmer. It's like how civilization starts. It's, it, civilization springs up around farms. So almost everybody in medieval times is a farmer, and the ones that aren't a farmer uh, probably still have a little farm. Um, so super important background. This is like the vanilla of, of your medieval backgrounds, right? So it's here if you want it. You know, if you want to start uh, with vanilla and then mix in all the cool stuff, you know, how does a farmer become a wizard? How does a farmer become a um, paladin? You know, that might be more interesting than how does the scholar become a wizard, right? Um, anyway, that's just my, my two cents on it. Skill proficiencies. You get animal handling, nature, survival. Um, you get to predict the weather. And how well you do decides how far out you predict it. And then uh, there's all the different uh, characteristics that add that layer of, of, of the rural agricultural background to you. Um, and there's even a, a spell that you can add to your list. I'm probably not going to use it too much, but it would help you um, get more yield out of your out of your fields. So that's the farmer. Take it or leave it. Um, I'd at least give it a try. And you can find that in the Call to Adventure book. Um, I'll put a link uh, in the description.